In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, the important property of the liquid called as a surface tension. Surface tension is a property of the liquid. Now, it is uh, defined as the tensile force acting on the surface of the liquid which is in contact with the gas or uh, between any two immiscible liquid surfaces. such that the contact uh, behaves like a membrane, a thin membrane. The units of the surface tension is Newton per meter and it is uh, represented by a Greek letter sigma. We can get the concept of surface tension by observing the following case. Now let us uh, consider different uh, molecules in a liquid. Let us consider a molecule A and molecule B. If you observe this molecule A, this molecule A is equally attracted by different surrounding molecules in all directions. Therefore, the net resultant force is zero. We can say this molecule A is in equilibrium condition. But if you take a molecule B, which is located near the surface of the liquid, because of different forces acting on the molecule is different in different direction resulting in unbalancing of the forces. For the molecule which is located near the surface of the liquid the net resultant force is in downward direction. Therefore if you take any molecule which is located at the free surface or near the free surface there must be some resultant downward force resulting in a development of a thin membrane under the action of tensile force that's why when you observe an insect on the surface of the water it can easily skates over the surface of the water because in between the legs of the insect and the surface of the water there must be some development of a thin membrane because of the tensile force that thin membrane can avoid the sinking of the insect into the water that is the best example for this concept if you take a drop of uh, rain water the shape of the drop is spherical shape because of the property called as a surface tension. Therefore, we can conclude that surface tension is a property of the liquid and is defined as force per unit length. That is, Newton per meter are the units and it is represented by letter sigma. In the next video, we will discuss the different mathematical analysis of a uh, different cases like rainwater, a jet of water, etc.